Hey guys, John Vaporoning Technologies. I want to show you a little pro tip here. Something you guys may have experienced before. We left these parts in this cabinet overnight. Um, they were not wet to begin with, but they were in a damp environment. And you can see here, see this white powdery substance? That is the beginning of corrosion. Parts starting to oxidize. It's developing that white powder. That's what happens. The part will actually spot if you leave moisture on it. We've had people call in from CNC machining to automotive restoration and ask why their parts are actually spotting up. And you can see that's what it looks like. Again, that is a white powdery substance. See how it wipes off? But that's for moisture. Uh, you, if, you're, if you live in a humid environment, let's say down south, you could experience this um, no matter what, and you're gonna have a tough time fighting against it. But if you dry the parts completely, that's how you eliminate this from happening normally. Sometimes people think that you can vapor hone, rinse the part off, blow dry it a little bit, set it on the shelf. No, what happens is it's gonna start doing this right here. It's gonna start developing that white powder or it's gonna spot. You're gonna have dark spots, light spots. It's gonna be a problem. You're gonna have to re-vapor hone it and take a ton of time and waste your waste your time on redoing the part. But look at that. That's what I wanted to show people was why you need to dry these parts off um, and what could be happening if you get those light and dark spots. That means that you have not dried the part off completely before you let it start air drying. So hope that helps. If you have more questions, give the sales team a call, shoot them an email. As always, thanks for watching.